Um, just a great team win today. <clears throat> Taiwan gives us six innings on a on a night when we don't have our long man available. Uh, it was a little continuation from yesterday. Archie uh, did a great job and enabled us to use our bullpen, and you saw what we did there to, to um, piece this together. Some great situational hitting, some great clutch hitting. I thought the big blow was Jeremy Hazelbaker, um, left on left, lining a ball down the right field line to put us ahead. Just a quality effort by, by the guys. Just, a, like I said, a really good team effort all the way through. <laughs> Uh, I know that there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes uh, from about the third or fourth inning on. I know he's getting physically prepared. I think he's getting mentally prepared. And he just puts up a quality at bat with, uh, with a good approach. I, know, I think he's learned over the years um, what, kind of, what kind of a hitter he is and um, what, the at -bat, what the at bat is asking for. He can go up there and execute. When I first met him, he was a young slugger, and I think he tried to go up top all the time, but I think he learned how to slow the game down and, and have a good approach, and that's what I like. Uh, he, when his back was against the wall, he came out, made pitches, kept us in the game, and um, allowed us to start to maneuver in the seventh inning in the bullpen, which was a, which was a great effort on his part. A couple of longer innings, but uh, he mixed in some really short, quick innings. I thought he threw some quality pitches all night long. Um, I know he's frustrating from time to time because of uh, because of, you know wasn't able to make pitches, but he put that all behind him and, and gave us six quality innings, which was a great, which was a great effort. That exactly, you know, we uh, we were asking him to get into that sixth inning. We were going to extend him as close to 100 pitches as possible, knowing that the bullpen could be a little thin. Um, and he goes out there and throws a nine pitch sixth inning, which was great. So anytime you walk off the mound um, with that type of a um, an inning, it's got to feel good. And um, you know, he kept himself in the ball game, gave, gave, him, gave him a chance to win the ball game, and that's really what we want our starters to do. Right. And you're looking at all other left handed hitters. How do you make the decision this left handed hitter to throw in against the left handed pitcher? Uh, you know, just just a lot of different components, a lot of different moving parts to it. Like I said, I, I know Jeremy's gonna go up there and give us quality at bat. That's not taking anything away from the other guys that are on the bench, but I felt like they were gonna be uh, used in different situations throughout the game. Um, and I thought Jeremy's at bat was going to be a key at bat in that moment, and he was going to go out there and execute a game plan. Um, there, there's a lot of components that go into to that decision. And uh, you know, one of them is upstairs. The analytics department works hard to make suggestions. Um, and his name was right there square in the middle of their suggestion. So uh, a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts enabled me to make that decision. Yeah, I think he was letting the ball travel, let the ball, letting the ball travel, let it get it, letting it get a little deeper, and um, you know, staying with his approach. And you know, he had, he had the one ball that he drove hard down the right field line that was that was a key at bat and a key moment for us. So, I think having the success in, in a really big situation that helped us push a little bit closer to, um, to to their. You know, I think we were down four to one at the time, maybe. You know, we cut into that lead. And he was responsible for that. I think it was a very good feeling for him. I think all those things added up to him having a good night. And uh, he's working hard behind the scenes to, to, to have that good approach. And when hitters have those moments, they need to celebrate it and enjoy it. Yeah, I think our guys, uh, <clears throat> we, have, we have a quality group of offensive players that share information. Um, link their at bats and understand what the what, like I said earlier what the at bat is asking for in, in certain situations and you know I'm really impressed with the amount of talk between guys about what they want to do and the amount of support they're offering one another and I just think uh, you know one person can be a catalyst and it just gets that ball rolling and I think that's what really good teams do 
They never feel like they're out of it. Really good offensive teams do. They never feel like they're out of any game. They just keep pushing and plowing. And this team, and I've only been here for three major league games. I've seen them for a number of spring training games. But this group is now together for three games for me. And what I've seen out of them is the relentlessness that we're asking for. And it's pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, there, just information about what type of pitches, the action on the pitches, the location of the pitches, different counts about what they're seeing, and you know, it's all very common baseball stuff that's going on in in, in between um, in between these guys, and you know, they're supporting one another, and um, you know, maybe offering some advice about a certain release point, a certain angle of the ball, and how to approach it, and then you got you got a hitting coach in there that's overseeing it all, and and, and Adams adding. And, and some other components. So it's it's a pretty powerful situation that we walk into and with this with this group of players. <laughs> uh, you're right. He, we've asked a lot of them. I think what it's been three or four, three out of four days, um, all three games. Um, we we like his stuff. We we're very impressed by what he did in spring training, and he's he's deserved those moments. And um, we asked him to step into a really um, tough situation that was full of traffic. He went out there and executed some pitches and got us out of the jam. And those are the things that we're looking for out of these guys. And the experience plays in on that for me. I know that uh, you know he he can probably slow his heart rate down and, and execute pitches and stay in the moment. And that that's that's a really good ingredient that he carries, and we're going to take advantage of that. What do you think of uh, Jake's at-bat for? Jake Lamb. Lamb. Um, you know, Jake has had quality at-bats all spring, and it's carried over into the season. I thought he had some very, very good at-bats. You know, he has the, the, the I think it was a, um, I'm not sure if he got to second base, I can't remember, but his first at-bat, he stayed on a ball and hit a line drive fly ball in the left center field. Um, and then he hits the ball down the right field line. For me, it should have been a hit. I don't know if it was a hit or an error, but that ends up tying the score, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a key moment for him, and uh, he stayed with his plan, and it all played out. So I, I thought he had a great approach tonight, but he's had a great approach every game that I've watched him play since I saw him start a spring training. Good.